Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to talk about shopping in Korea. Right now I get my groceries at three different places. The first place being the commissary at Camp Humphreys and that's just a grocery store that's like any other grocery store in the US that has US brands, although they only carry certain US brands. So I'll get my meat there, canned beans, dairy products, frozen fruits and vegetables, coconut milk, oat milk, oats, sugar, things like that. Second place I get my groceries is Vitacost. They are a company that will ship anywhere in the US, including my overseas military address or PO box. And I'll get things that I can't find at the commissary or here at a Korean grocery store. So they have my coffee beans that I like. So I'll get my coffee beans there, buckwheat flour and pumpkin. Although the commissary did carry canned pumpkin around the holidays, but they limit it to two and it sells out pretty quickly. I usually place a Vitacost order around every two months or so. Third place I get groceries is a local Korean grocery store. Usually buy all my fresh fruits and vegetables there. Uh, the commissary does carry that stuff, but I find that the Korean grocery store has a bigger selection, more variety, and it seems to stay fresher longer. I've also heard that the local Korean markets have better prices on fruits and vegetables. I haven't been to them yet because, you know, we're in a pandemic and I heard that there aren't a lot of vendors there anyway right now. So eventually I'll check that out and see how it compares. But for right now, I go to the local Korean grocery store. So story time, a few weeks ago, I was in a local Korean grocery store and I was getting ready to check out and there was no one around me. I, I definitely checked. No one was around me. There was a man checking out at the register. And so I got in line and I'm just waiting. And then all of a sudden I see out of the corner of my eye, there's a old lady with her cart and she's kind of like inching towards me this way. Um, and she's got just stacks and stacks of eggs. I mean, eggs in Korea come in like, I don't know, 36 packs. Anyway, it's a lot. So she has like just stacks of eggs in her cart. And I feel like she's going to try to comfort me. And I'm like, what is going on? And then I look behind me and there's another lady with stacks and stacks of eggs in her cart. And they're all just <laughs> surrounding me. And so, and then it clicked, oh, you're, you're not in the U.S. anymore. Um, here it seems like um, they don't give you a lot of personal space. And so I was concerned that maybe they were going to try to cut in front of me. So <laughs> I ended up getting in front of my cart and started loading my groceries onto the belt. Um, but normally I like to give space to other people and not crowd them. And, you know, we're supposed to be social distancing. Yeah, so... Anyway, that was a little intimidating, but let's go to the Korean grocery store. I'm going to take you along with me and I'll show you what I get. That was a pretty uneventful trip, thank goodness. I'm gonna show you guys what I got and how much everything costs. All right, so first up we have bok choy. It's got four bok choys in there. I don't know what you call these individual things. Um, that came out to $1.79. And then I have two cucumber. That came out to $2.70. 
Some Napa cabbage, 179. Huge zucchini, that was $1.79. Two huge carrots, those were $1.34. And I got these uh, sweet potatoes. I got three of them here. Those were $4.46. This was the most expensive thing that I bought. No, actually the strawberries were, but for potatoes, sweet potatoes, $4 is kind of a lot, but I really wanted them. So I got them. Strawberries. Um, let me do these last. I got this huge cabbage, as big as my face. That was $2.70. And last but not least, this was the most expensive thing that I got. This was $5.41. Um, it smells so good. I wanna show you how they package these things. So they are perfectly placed and they have um, paper in between each line of strawberry and underneath this layer. These actually stay good for about three or four days after I buy them. So I don't know if Korea sprays them with something or to make them last longer. I don't know. If you know, let me know. I'd like to know. <laughs> um, but it looks like they've already been washed. Just so perfect. And they're really sweet. So this is everything I got at the local Korean grocery store. And my total came out to $21.98. Thanks for shopping with me today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer those. Or if you have a funny grocery store story, I'd love to hear that as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.